everyone, it's Leslie. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm sharing a art journal layout process with you. And um, there I'm just showing you the binder that I made or the um, art journal that I actually made myself. And if you are interested in knowing how to bind a book in this way yourself, I will link a video below where you can see a process of how I made another um, a book, just a different size, but the process is the same. You can choose your own sizes. So you'll see here on the first page that I'm just adding some gesso to my page and I'm waiting for that gesso to dry. Not all of it is completely dry. Um, I thought if I would add the pencil to the top of the gesso, then the pencil would become sort of ingrained in the paper in the gesso and it would become a part of the shading that I could do on that face. So I didn't let the gesso dry completely and um, you'll see that some of the <laughs> pencil marks are darker than the others and and then um, yeah, the darker bits are obviously where the gesso is still a bit wet. But yeah, so this is going to be the cover of my, or the first page, the title page of my art journal. And you'll see I am very loosely sketching a, a side profile of a face. I switched pencils there. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm doing a side profile of a face and this is just in my head. I don't have a... Um, a photo with me of something I'm doing this is just what's in my head at the moment to draw and isn't that what art journaling is all about um, just sort of self-expression and whether it's perfect or not it, that that's not what art journaling is about it's not making the perfect art piece hey it's basically just drawing what's in your head self-expression <laughs> so um, I'm coming in with that um, uh, ink pen of mine and as I said in a previous video it sounds stupid of me to say ink pen but this is a, um, a pen that has um, it's a brush ink pen and it has a little chamber inside that you can replace when the ink has run out and the ink is very runny so it paints on very very nicely um, when you when you paint with it and the tip of the pen is a brush and it's a very long, thin brush, um, so you can do a lot of detail, or you can just um, paint it on as you would with a with a, with a normal paintbrush. So you'll see in this process that I'm going to do a lot of um, layering. Um, I'm going to come in with some white acrylic in a bit here as well, and um, I'm going to go over all of those dark bits to add. Um, You'll see here, I'm trying to do it with a white pen, but none of my white uh, ball, uh, rollerball or gel pens work really. So it was very frustrating for me there. So I'm going to come in with a brush with some acrylic and um, I'm going to paint over that uh, black. And you'll see the black, you'll probably ask now why am I painting over the black, but it leaves a shadow. So that's just one way of adding shadow to your to your um, to your painting if you start off with black and you paint white over it or the other color whichever other color you want you just paint over it and that's an easy way to get some shadow in your in your art and this face is going to change quite a bit it changes shape um, I keep on going over that nose and I keep on changing the shape of the nose um, to where it's <laughs> to where I like the shape of the nose um, and also the mouth I do change the mouth a lot as well and you'll see as I'm doing the sh the, 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 the painting with the white um, how the shadowing in the face is changing and I am squeezing that acrylic straight onto my page um, I don't have a palette so the gesso has dried by now and it's quite thick so I'm just going to be squeezing that paint right onto my onto my paper and um, just going over that and over that and over that and if I don't like what I did with the black then I just go over it with white again and I come in with the black and I redo it and it's all about layering and um, getting that final finish that you want in the end and you'll see here I'm just loosely even going over that pencil line and going over the face with um, very loose brush strokes and um, <laughs> that gives it a hazy elusive 
look and I really like the way that looks I'm starting to really like where this is going so I'm going to come in with that uh, brush pen of mine again and um, just drawing the outline of a face that um, and you'll see that the outline has changed since uh, from the first outline I've um, made the chin bigger um, I have also changed the cheek on um, the far side of the face a little bit changed the shape of the cheek and yes I am going to make that darker again but I am going to go over with white again and I have um, subtly drawn in the outline of the lips um, the first time I did the lips they were a bit hectic <laughs> I've gone a bit hectic with the shading so I am this time thinking okay maybe I should just tone it down with the lips and they're really working for me um, the shadow on the um, under the chin I am going to be doing quite a big large shadow under the chin so um, I brought in some more ink over there and I am uh, bringing forward that um, the forehead as well um, and this is how it goes. You you start off with something and it morphs and it um, changes and it develops as you paint it. And you'll see, even just painting over the nose, um, <laughs> it just, you know, you, you bring in some more and then you paint over it again and then you bring in some more black. And I, I'm not really waiting for any of the layers to dry. I'm just coming in over it again and over it again and over it again. So um, I thought to myself, I'm not going to leave the big open space uh, next to the face. I didn't want to leave it white. So I'm coming in with just plain black acrylic and I'm just going to be covering that, that, place, that open area with some black acrylic. And there's not going to be color on this page. It's just going to be black and white. I wanted something very striking but also very neutral as my title page for my art journal and um, yeah again coming in with the white and I'm just going to paint an almost a halo around her face um, so that it looks like she's emitting light <laughs> if, if, if that makes any sense and um, yeah so here I'm coming in with the white very loosely I'm really not concerned whether this is actually looking <laughs> like a proportionate face or you know um, anything one thing that did keep on bothering me was the bridge of her nose and the way that um, far eye her right eye was um, was looking so I am going to be changing that in the end and I did leave um, this for a while and I came back and then when I came back I sort of knew exactly what to do to fix that and and that is one thing you can do when you are doing some art if something's bothering you and you don't quite know what it is go away put it away and um, come back in an hour or a couple of minutes or go do something else and as you come back you'll see immediately oh it's that that's bothering me because if you stare at something for too long you you become so absorbed in in the image you you don't quite know what it is that's bothering you and um see there you go i knew exactly then and there it was the the bridge of her the bridge of her nose and i didn't make her her right eye big enough and there you go and her face seems more open um she, it actually looks like she's got a bit of a smile and um so what i'm doing here i'm just painting the title and i drew some lines um, on that black area just so that I could write out um, in a very loose um, scripty font <laughs> journal um, one and um, I'm not uh, good at calligraphy or writing so um, <laughs> this was this is not going to be perfect but as I said um, um, in the beginning that art journaling is not about creating the perfect piece of art hey? it's just about self-expression and expressing what is in your heart on that day and um, I really liked this process I really really enjoyed it and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun in this journal um, I also like the fact that I made the book myself and that's another expression of 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 myself and um, that, that I made the book myself it's the pages are 12 by 12 so it's quite a large book and it'll fit in very nicely with with the rest of my scrapbook pages um, Oh, with my scrapbooks and my albums and things in 
in my um, in, on my shelf. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions about anything I did on this page, um, please drop me a, um, a question in the comment section and I will try and get back to you. I'm sure I will get back to you. <laughs> I like reading your comments and I really like, it's very encouraging to, to read what you have to say and to read um, your stories as well. And please, yeah, please drop me a comment and I'll get back to you. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and then you'll see a lot more of, of my processes. <laughs> okay, bye-bye everyone.